Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my stock signals video for Wednesday, the 2nd of May, where I choose just one of the signals from our signals membership area uh, and set it up on the chart with the entry stop loss and target zones here. So in, very quickly in our members area, our members get both long, short trades on stochastic strategies and fifth wave strategies on multiple time frames. I've chosen long trades today for the fifth wave. Our members simply click on the image here to download the spreadsheet each day. Let's have a look at the spreadsheet. So as we can see, this is uh, the potential long fifth wave trades. Uh, this is the six minute time frame. We also have it at the bottom there for the daily and the weekly time frames. But I've chosen 60 minutes today. I wanted to set up one of these trades, uh, one of these signals on here. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen HLX on the 60 minute time frame. Um, first of all, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader version from Wave5Trade.com uh, to put this together. Uh, it is also available on Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multichart trading platforms. Uh, so very briefly, uh, we have a range bound period down here in blue. This is not a trend. The fifth wave is the final move in a trend, which is the highest probability. So that's what we're looking for. So those that have our Elliott wave indicator suite, we need to be isolating the start of the wave count down at these lows before we get the big move up. And then our Elliott wave indicator suite takes over. We have the automated Elliott wave count one, two, three, four. This wave four has been quite long. Um, three days, um, but it's found support in our red probability zone here. And that's a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones around about 835 in the middle there. So the filters on the stocks signals membership, uh, one of them is for the 535 oscillators. You can see here part of our Elliott wave indicator suite, the 535 has pulled back between 19 and 140% really good sign this wave four has behaved very well another filter on there is a stochastic has pulled back in the oversold zone here against these false breakout bars these yellow dots here so these are false breakouts of the stochastic denoting a strong bullish move so when the stochastic pulls back against those yellow dots it invariably wants to return because that's the strong bullish trend and it's like an elastic band so today we would hopefully see uh, a move away from this wave for low so with entry strategies we've got to be quite sensible here uh, the 6-4 moving average high is on our Elliott wave indicator suite this green moving average here so this is the first port of call we've got to be through that for the long entry here but also we have to take into consideration this resistance level here so 777 is the entry I've gone for here with a stop loss just below the way four at 742 and the targets 835. So we've still got a decent risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6 into that target zone while still remaining a reasonably conservative entry strategy for this potential long on HLX on the 60 minute time frame. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.